From Eves and crossovers to rad new sports cars, we are well into 2022 and we have already seen most of what we can expect in terms of new models. That said, 2023 is expected to be even more interesting as a lot of car makers bring out completely different models from their usual portfolio. Moreover, some of our iconic models will undergo substantial changes. With this in mind, here are some new cars for 2023 that you should be most excited about. Hello Cars Lover! I'm Nano Huge, and welcome to my channel. Ford Mustang S650 2022 is the last year of the current S550 generation Ford Mustang. In March 2023, the next S650 generation of the Pony car is going to hit the road. Both the 2.3-liter EcoBoost and 5.0-liter Coyote V8 are available. However, they will be part of a hybrid system. Porsche Macan EV Porsche is in an interesting place at the moment. The company's work on synthetic fuels proves that it is not fully committed to a fully electric future. That said, Porsche still plans to capitalize on the increasingly popular EV segment by expanding its EV lineup and the Macan is the first model to make the transition from internal combustion to electricity starting in 2023. BMW X8 BMW X8 shares a platform with the X7 and is, essentially, a coupe version of it. Like the X7, the X8 will be powered by a variety of inline, 6 and V8 engines, some of which as part of a mild hybrid system. The sportier look of the X8 comes at the cost of some cargo space and third-row seats, which the X7 has. The BWM X8 will be revealed towards the end of 2022, with sales commencing in 2023. Chevrolet Corvette C8 C06 The new C8 Z06 mil is good for 670 horsepower at 8,400 rpm and 470 pound-feet 637 nm at 6,300 rpm. The gearbox is, once again, an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic. Production of the Corvette C8 Z06 is scheduled to start in the summer of 2022 which means the first batch of cars will reach customers around 2023. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The Ioniq 7 is based on Hyundai Kia's eGMP scalable, EV platform and would offer up to 100 kWh, thanks to Hyundai's advancement in battery density. Hyundai is yet to reveal power figures, but we do know that the setup will be good for 400 miles 644 kilometers of range. Hyundai's electric SUV is expected to debut in the second half of 2023. Mazda CX-70 and CX-90 The new SUVs will feature a wide-body design and they will replace the aging Mazda CX-7 and CX-9 SUVs by bringing in a more modern powertrain which will comprise an inline-six as well as a turbo four-cylinder plug-in hybrid variant on an RWD architecture with odd expected to be standard across the range. Expected to launch in the first half of 2023, the CX-70 which is the smaller crossover, will feature a 5-seat layout, and the bigger CX-90 with a 7-seat layout will take the fight to other 3-row premium SUVs like the Telluride and Palisades. Toyota GR Corolla The GR Corolla is powered by an amped-up version of the 1.6-liter, inline 3 that debuted with the GR Yaris. In this application, it is good for 300 horsepower channeling power to all four wheels, and best of all, it is only available with a six-speed manual. With prices estimated to start at $32,000 for the entry-level model and circuit edition, expected to be $40,000, the 2023 GR Corolla will arrive in dealerships by the end of the year 2022. Mazda MX-5 Miata and E3 the latest iteration of Mazda's nimble, light roadster already received an update in 2018 ND2, but it seems Mazda isn't done yet. December 2022 will see the Mazda MX-5 ND3, which will bring a lot more than just a small bump in power for the Miata. This means that the updated ND3 Miata will be on sale in 2023. At 2,028 pounds 920 kilogram, the ND3 Miata will be even lighter than the ND2, which weighs 2,182 pounds 990 kilogram. Aston Martin Vanquish Vanquish is an old name in the history of Aston Martin models. 
Among one of the most exciting 2023 cars to debut is the upcoming Vanquish, which will be completely different from any other before it. That's because the upcoming Aston Martin Vanquish will be a mid-engine supercar that would rival the likes of McLaren 720S and Ferrari F8 Tributo. It shares some of its aesthetics with the Aston Martin Valhalla, although a bit less radical. The Vanquish will rely on a 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 engine with 700 horsepower. Production of the 2024 Vanquish will start in 2023. Ferrari Purisong SUV The first Ferrari SUV is a big deal, especially considering the brand's earlier statements that it will never make one. As far as 2023 cars go, this has to be one of the most unusual ones due in part to the fact, it is barely an SUV. The Pura Song is expected to debut in the first half of 2022 as a 2023 model, and will be the first of several Ferrari models to be unveiled before 2023. Engine-wise, Ferrari Pura Song will still offer a normally aspirated V12. Later, a VA version, and even a V6 hybrid are said to be available for the SUV, which Ferrari refers to as an FUV. Audi A6 e-tron. This new all-electric version of the A6 is based on the VW Group's latest skateboard architecture similar to the ones that underpin vehicles like the e-tron SUV and the upcoming McKinney EV. The A6 e-tron will go head-to-head -head with the Mercedes IC and BMW's highly anticipated i5 sedan. The e-tron Avant concept suggests a 100 kWh, battery will be the primary power source, which should lend it around 430 miles of range on a WLTP cycle, so expect similar figures from the sedan as well. Thank you for watching, drive safely.